Hi all, in this video we are going to start a new POC that is called IT Help Desk Management. Okay, so in this POC we will uh, see the complete functionality of like how IT Help's uh, uh, POC will work. Okay, we will uh, we have the documentation as well. Okay, to understand it better. So this is going to be the uh, UI for the IT Help Desk Management as you can see here. Okay, so it has two tabs uh, are configured here first is the ticket dashboard and the other tab is the analytics where uh, they can see the details about the different uh, charts okay with the help of charts they can see the details about the tickets as well okay so this IT help desk management uh, dashboard looks like this one okay so let's go on the documentation to stand it uh, a bit in more detail okay so this is the documentation for here is the overview IT helpless management so it is a comprehensive solution designed to streamline and enhance the efficiency of IT support services within our organization fine so this is the general definition that we are already aware about okay now as of now uh, okay this POC will uh, cater to different persona as well okay whatever the POC we have seen in the last they were like mostly one user only but it will have uh, three users okay admin will be there staffs will be there and employee users will be there okay so admin will act as a super user okay and they can view the whole all the tickets on the dashboard and the analytics as well so admin has a complete access so like this you can see here so he as an admin I have tried to log in so here a tag as well you can see here like the logged in user is admin it is saying that the logged in user is admin here okay and he can see all the tickets raised by different users okay and he can see the assignees assignment of them the status as well okay and uh, uh, he can update the ticket as well the admin can update the ticket as well okay and the analytics you can see the he can see the different uh, 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 charts as well related to the tickets so all these functionalities are given to the admin now let's move on to our next persona that are the staffs so staffs are the users who will work on the tickets so they are the users who will work on the tickets okay uh, whenever any ticket new ticket has come so they will work on that they can view the tickets assigned to them and they can only view the those tickets which are assigned to them for example I have uh, here try to log in with uh, okay they say huh here you can see I try to log in with a staff here so all the ticket which are assigned to the staffs they are only able to see that ticket okay so headphone not working like this it is there okay priority John when it was created okay like this functionality is available to them let's move on to our next persona that is employees so employees are the business users for example in our in our you know like we are also working so in the organization as well if we encounter any issue along with our laptop okay it's our hardware or software issue we also use to raise tickets okay so the same employees will the business users they can update the ticket and uh, okay and add comments as well so like this so let me try to show the view of the employee so this is the employee view here and the users will be able to you know like the employees will be able to see the uh, ticket details which are only raised by them okay now let's move on to our uh, security like okay what users have what kind of security here so create a ticket everybody has access to as you can see here as an admin I can also create a ticket okay so here I can create the ticket uh, as an staff as well I can create it as an employee as well I can create a ticket so this is the staff one and this is the all these actions are given here to create the ticket for all of them the next is update the ticket update functionality is also available to all the three users now assign user is there so first of all you know, like let's try to complete this part okay so as an employee what I will do here is as an employee I will try to create a ticket okay so hello John is the employee name so here just write the name of the employee okay subject is there I will write like uh, okay uh, let's say King okay and in the same in the description as well I will uh, give it okay so John at the rate email.com I have given priority is very high because without internet nothing we can do and it is related to network when you update the ticket you can add attachment to the ticket as well okay so let's see how I will click on upload button okay and I will go to I raised a ticket now what happened after that 
see here as soon as you raise the ticket uh, okay so here in the grid you will be able to see the latest data so i am able to see it is of high priority user like john has raised it there is assignee is null it means that it is not assigned and status is still open only okay if i want to go uh, you know like i can uh, uh, go and update the ticket as well okay like something like this i will please resolve it asap something like this i submitted my data and see here in the description as well we have added functionality like not all the description will show so the second is that the you know like user can also go in the details and the, he can see more details about it like uh, internet not working what is the description he has given any attachment he has attached or not so that functionality is also available here priority is high currently it is unassigned and more detail more details of tickets are available here. like what is the ticket id uh, what is the status of the ticket what was the employee users we have also the comment functionality as well see he can uh, he can uh, like he can update the ticket from here as well he don't have to go back we have given functionality the here as well and he can add the comments as well on that okay for example any update on it okay so i will just submit it and see here okay so if you if we see a new comment is also there see john has commented on this time any update on this now once the user has raised the ticket okay so it will now come in the queue of the admin okay so uh, let's you know like let's refresh the view of the admin see here internet not working raised by john so it has come so you can see here uh, we have raised a ticket so as an admin i can see the ticket because admin has the uh, right to see all the tickets which are coming to him okay or as an staff i am not able to see the ticket because i have logged in as you know like as, as a staff one is my login id so last ticket is a headphone you know like headphone not working that ticket is not coming here and as an employee i can also see my ticket which was raised by me as well now what i will do here is in the ticket i have also added a comment as well here like uh, okay any update or any something like this okay now i will as an admin i will go in the description of the ticket and see here i can see the button of assign as well that assignment button is not available for the staffs staffs can't assign this ticket to anyone else or something like this see only they can update the ticket and add the uh, you know like comment as well okay so only they can do that part not the uh, not the assignment one so what i will do here is as an as an as a, as of now it is unassigned so i will assign it and whom so i have two staffs here staff one and staff two so i will staff one smith okay now it's the name i have given here okay and i will assign it once i have assigned this ticket to this one now what happens now here in the assignment you can see the status uh, the field is now staff one it is assigned to okay and here is the assigned button as well okay and here last comment was employee one comment was there now as an uh, you can see here as an staff i will go here in my list i will refresh my list and see here i can see one more ticket here is there okay high priority and it is assigned here now i will go inside the ticket and you know like i can see the comment of the uh, you know like uh, john as well what comment he has added now uh, okay i will will try to resolve okay within uh, within next two hours so i will try to resolve this in the next two hours so you can see here one more comment i have tried to write it here and see here staff one smith has written and see in my uh, more details category is network two comments have been there on that and last comment was staff one as well okay and i can also mark this ticket as resolved as well before marking the ticket resolved let's try to go inside and as an employee see here employee can also see like we'll try to resolve this okay now what i what uh, as an i will do here i will mark this ticket as resolved once i will mark this ticket as resolved i will add a comment as well okay so marking so with the user i have okay you might have done the discussion with the user and now you are marking it resolved okay so now this ticket has been marked as resolved okay and it is created by the user last comment was staff one only and three comments were there so like this it used to uh, you know like uh, update like this one now i will go here and see here now the ticket is here if you say here the ticket is marked as resolved now fine 
so here you can see the ticket is marked as resolved so here this ticket is you know like marked when you update the ticket you can add attachment to the ticket as well okay so let's see how i will click on upload button now i will try to uh, you know like uh, attach the attachment let's try to upload it here and let's click on submit button once you have added the attachment it will make an entry here in the attachment table okay and as an staff when i will go inside the ticket i can see see here this is a link here right so attachments so i can even see my attachment as well like what is the attachment that i have added okay and i if i want i can download the attachment as well okay see here I am able to download it as well so both the functionality are given uh, for the attachment part as well okay table here IT help desk management system so it's the different persona are there we have tried to see how those different persona used to work together Analy analytics view and all system features is there okay admin employee what they can do so as an employee you can create ticket update view summary add comment like this one functionalities are given they can create a new ticket a view ticket like this okay all this thing okay and then what are the different tables so here we have tried to take three tables into this one okay one table is the ticket other is the attachment and the next is the comment as well okay so like this three different uh, uh, three different tables are there which help us to capture the data entered by the user and you can see the analytics as well so you can see here one ticket was raised for the network and one was raised for the you know like uh, uh, this uh, okay let me just see the all time so all time ticket are what so hardware software okay no category something like this hardware software network so all these tickets are available here with the help of status and we have a line chat as well like in september month it was 12 in october it is three tickets like this so we can see the complete description about that as well okay so we will have to we will see uh, how to build this application step by step in complete details okay on the next upcoming videos okay so that's all for now Thank you all.